Welcome to the Organizations and Organization Theory class, and today we have chapter one. So let's get going with chapter one. Uh, talked about organization theory in action. We have current challenges. For any company today, we face those. Uh, do you see the six uh, problems that companies face? We have number one, globalization. Uh, many companies today, they have to face the problem of globalization. For example, if there are uh, uh, more competition come from other countries, then uh, you have to deal with them, right? Uh, what happens if, uh, you know, if, you, uh, if other countries, they have uh, uh, a lot of uh, cheap coffee? Then uh, for your company, you need to start to compete with uh, uh, coffee that comes from other countries, right? If we take, for example, uh, al Kabous company, uh, they export coffee, and uh, the world uh, prices of coffee are very cheap, then they have to make it cheaper, right? If uh, it is very expensive, then they can sell it expensive. And uh, if uh, they can sell a lot of coffee to other countries, uh, do they have to change their company size? Yes, they have to change their company size. Do they want to make bigger uh, international division? Yes, they want to make a bigger international division, right? And uh, number two, we have intense competition. Uh, if you have a lot of competition and you need to have uh, very good customers, maybe you not want to have a bigger uh, marketing department, right? And uh, there are also issues of ethics and social responsibility. Do you want to have some uh, employees in your company who are responsible for ethics? Do you want to fight corruption? To make a department for uh, corruption, to fight corruption? Do you see? So, uh, uh, number four, we have speed of responsiveness. Uh, customers, they need a very quick response, right? Customers, uh, they want to ask you questions on Facebook or Twitter. Do you want to have a big department for Twitter and Facebook to just deal with this issue? Do you see? So the idea here is, uh, based on these challenges, you need to redesign your company. You can't have the same company all the time. Depending on what other issues that face your company, you want to change your company design. An issue of diversity. You guys know what diversity? Diversity means uh, we have males and females in your company. Then you need to have bathrooms for males and females. There was one story of a company that uh, they realized that they don't have a bathroom for females in the whole company. Why? Because they didn't have any employees or female. But now we've got more female employees, therefore we need to change our organization to be maybe accepting or welcoming to female uh, employees, right? Some companies, they have a small division for uh, maybe female section. We have heard about some universities, they have just classes for females only, right? So uh, that's an issue how you design your organization. You need to kind of look at what you have and uh, decide. Organization theory will help us explain what happened in the past. So we'll discuss how we used to be in the past. And then we will look at what may happen in the future. What do you guys think will happen in the future? Do you think more and more companies will have to have an, an IT department that are very big? Yes. Do you think Shumaila Hari or supermarkets, they need to have bigger uh, uh, IT departments? Yes. Do you think barber shops, they have an IT department? Yes. Do you think in the future they will open IT departments? Yes. Maybe they will take reservations online, or maybe they have a mobile application. Will that be possible, or it's impossible? Do we want to think about that now? That's the question. And then we will look at what, how we can manage organizations more effectively. Do you guys remember management? It has to be the balancing between effectiveness and efficiency. Do you remember that? So in this chapter, or in this course, we focus more on the effectiveness. How can we make sure that we're very effective in what we do? Okay. Uh, next, we will look into what's an organization. An organization is basically a social entity that are uh, goal-directed. You guys know what we mean by goal-directed? Goal-directed means you always focus on the goal. You can't just have an organization that has no goal. Do you remember in the previous example when we had people that are going in different direction? We don't want people in different directions. We want other people to have one goal, right? And number two, we need to have designed deliberately structured and coordinated activity system. We don't want the marketing department to be in this direction and the operations in this direction. We want them both coordinate with each other so they can go in the same direction. Do you guys understand coordination? Number three, we've got LinkedIn external environment. Do, uh, do companies stand alone or they have to interact with the outside environment? What do you think if you're a company? Do you care of what happens outside your company or you don't care? No, probably it will affect you, right? For example, if the outside environment, we don't have gas, or uh, oil is, diesel is not available, then you need to start to change, right? You need to be ready in how you change your course, your system, your 
uh, operations and everything. Okay. Uh, we've got this including large uh, multinational corporations, family-owned businesses, as non-profits. So we will look into maybe uh, maybe it will be different than how multinational companies. Do you guys know what some multinational companies yes. or corporations? Companies that work in many countries, right? We call them multinational corporations. And then family-owned businesses, that company that is everyone inside the company from the same village. Do you guys know companies that all the employees come from the same village? Yes, sweet. Yeah, if you go to Suede Company, everyone there come from the same, you know, uh, baby village, right? Uh, and then you've got this uh, non-profit organizations, which is companies or organizations that are non-profit. They don't seek dividend at the end of the year. Rather, whatever money they make, they use it for the company to sustain and continue working. Are you guys okay? 